What's up guys, I'm Chiggs and I'm back with another Android TV box review. So this is the latest X96 Mini Android 7.1 TV box. So as usual, we'll begin with a quick unboxing followed by a series of tests, testing 4K videos, HD streaming, gaming and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the S905W quad core running at 2GHz. You've got the Mali 450, 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, single band Wi-Fi BGN. You've got no Bluetooth, Android version 7.1.2 Nougat. Supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second and this also supports HDR10. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, a UK power adapter, HDMI cable, a remote control and the TV box itself. Here is the X96 Mini. Look at that, that is tiny. So we've got a matte finish on top with the X96 Mini logo. You've got this reflective shiny black finish going all the way around. Nothing on the front, nothing on the side. On the back you have the power socket, network LAN port, HDMI, AV port, and you've got a separate infrared port as well. If we keep going, you've got two USB 2 ports and one micro SD card slot. And we're back to the front of the unit, and this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So here I have a tiny Android TV box. Um, I'm gonna bring in the H96 Max anyway to compare, so you guys get an idea of the size. And as you can see, the X96 is tiny. And in thickness, they are virtually the same. So I also like to compare this to another mini Android TV box that I've just reviewed, the MX9 Max. So I'm a bit curious to see which one is smaller. So let's compare it. So they are virtually the same size, except the MX9 has rounded edges and you've got these cut off hexagon type corners on the X96 mini. In thickness, they're the same as well. Let's compare the ports. So even the port layout is totally different. So there you have it. You've also got USB 3 on the MX9 Max and you have standard USB 2 on this. Moving on now. So I'm going to connect this up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out how good this TV box performs. I'll be right back. So this TV box boots up in around 20 seconds. Here is the home screen for this TV box. You have a nice and simple layout with large fixed icons at the top which cannot be edited and the small icons at the bottom can be customized. You just hit the plus sign, select your favorite apps and they will immediately appear at the bottom. So let's have a quick look at the system storage. This box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which you have 11 gigs free to use. Furthermore, if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running the latest Android 7.1.2 NuGet. Now let's check out the app section. So these are all the standard apps you get on this system. I have not installed anything yet. You have plenty to get you started, including the full Google Play Store, giving you access to thousands of free games and apps. So the first thing I like doing is testing out Miracast, which is screen mirroring my Android phone directly to the box. So I just connected my S8 via Miracast, and as you can see, it works great. There is absolutely no lag and now I'm able to watch videos, movies and games from my phone and it will wirelessly display directly on the screen. So that's Miracast working great. This box comes with the KD Player pre-installed which is basically a custom version of the latest Kodi 17.4 Krypton. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. Let's begin the first video.
Moving on to the YouTube test, this box can stream a maximum of 720p. Downsizing is about saving yourself. We live like kings. We got best houses, best restaurants, Cheesecake Factory. Got three of them. In Leisureland, your $52,000 translates to $12.5 million. So let's move on to the gaming performance test. This TV box does not come routed as standard. Furthermore, in the Wi Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 22.66 and upload speeds of 9.49 megabits per second. And I was using my shared hotel Wi Fi connection to run these tests. And in the Antutu test, we got a total benchmark score of 26,782. So let's see how that compares to the others. So this is my top performing TV box chart, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the X96 Mini has taken position 51 with a score of 26,782. I'll keep this list updated with every new TV box review, so stay tuned for more. So there you have it guys, that was the X96 Mini TV box. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. You have a nice compact design with a great build quality. Most H.265 4K video files play very well, as do basic games from the Play Store. You have the latest Android 7.1.2 and a nice clean home screen. On to the negatives. You have single band Wi-Fi, maximum 720p on YouTube. Some 4K video files showed black screens and could not play. There is no USB 3, no Bluetooth. 3D games show frame drops and you'll experience occasional lags during general use. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this TV box. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.